A man who owns five properties in Ogdensburg shows us what the citywide reassessment means to him as an investor. And as 7 News reporter Sean Brenda tells us, this landlord worries this could be too much on renters. You're almost at 100% of what you can charge the taxpayer already. So where do you go from there? I mean, you're going to be bankrupt soon, and the, and the, and the state's going to take over your finances is what's going to end up happening if you don't do something. Lisbon resident Wayne Washburn owns five properties in Ogdensburg, which he rents to families. After a citywide reassessment, his properties on Morris Street, Mansion Avenue, and Gage Street all increased between seventeen and $24,000 in value. His other property on Mansion Avenue went down in value by $10,000. But it's this Patterson Street home with new siding that went up the most, from $40,000 to $110,000. He's been thinking of raising rents. As I was anticipating these, uh, that the taxes would go up, I just never, I never believed in a million years it would be this much money. Mm. And who's going to really pay for this in the long run? The city of Augensburg are going to be the tenants. They're the ones that are going to get the hardest, and they're the ones that got the least money to pay for it. Washburn says because of the increase of the assessments, he may have to increase rent for tenants up $50. And if that doesn't work on his end, and mean he can't make ends meet, well, he may have to sell his Patterson Street property. Wednesday, City Assessor Mark Schnorr told 7 News just because assessments go up, taxes may not showing that if the new assessments were used in today's budget, the tax rate would have gone from $16.50 per thousand dollars down to $12.50. But on Washburn's Patterson Street home, doing the math with the different tax rates show Washburn would be paying around $700 more a year in property taxes. The, the profit margins for landlords are small. And when you do that much of a tax increase, a lot of times it, you can't keep the property because it's, you know, it's based on what you can get for an income out of it. Grievance Day is June 13th at City Hall. Sean Brinda, 7 News.